some hair dye that was like the main thing I was going for but my Dollar Tree is like currently getting renovated which I did not know was happening um they're basically almost done so what they're adding is just basically like a plus section which we had in the food section but like this is above my eyelashes look so nice today um so I was in there for literally over an hour just because they literally reorganized the entire store and there was so much stuff that I wanted to like buy but I just didn't need um and like I wanted to show you guys and I thought about doing a walkthrough video but there was just so many people in there so I was like there's just no way I could do that because it's so loud but um good finds so uh, I only bought I think one thing from the plus section just because I didn't really need anything else there's a lot of like name brand stuff, like a ton of name brand stuff. Like it was kind of crazy. I also got Starbucks this morning. Um, holy shit. I was out for over two hours. So I was in there for probably more than an hour then. Um, Cause I picked this up at what, 10.55. Um, I've been getting shaken espressos. And they're phenomenal. I get a brown sugar um, chain espresso, and then put three pumps of toasted syrup, like toasted vanilla syrup, and then white mocha in there as well, and then vanilla sweet cream full, uh, cold full. So good. I saw some you with the macadamia nut uh, stuff, like syrups in the cold foam, and it's really good. But my Starbucks has been out of it for like the past four days so I don't know when they're gonna get <laughs> um she just had first dived into the wall for no reason so anyway so yeah I feel like I had a really good haul so the first thing I grabbed this was out of the three plus section at the plus section is this collapsible like basket which I was actually planning on going to Dollar Tree today to look for organizers or something like this which I might still do because I didn't realize till after I bought it that it how like cheap plastic feels and I know at the ones in five and below they're they're nice quality because it, they're five dollars but it's good quality so I got this because I'm gonna put my nail supplies in here because I was starting to actually get more stuff in so I need a place to put it because I'm just so disorganized with that. And you know what? I mean, and I'm still having to go because I don't know if this will fit everything anyway. So I guess this is $3. And then you guys know it's back to school season for a lot of stores. Um, I especially know that because I fucking work retail. It is hell this time of year. in college classes if you guys didn't know that um but then I was like I got really depressed because I almost failed this class which like I tried to reach out to the instructor about and um she literally was like I don't give a fuck and I was like okay <laughs> and um I passed it like barely passed the class um and then I just like had no motivation then I took like a summer break and then I had no motivation to come back. So I think I'm going to look into changing my major. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep attending where I was attending. I was attending at LSU online. So I might switch. I don't know. I just, my, my uh, work pays for it. So it's not like I'm just dropping out of like college that I am paying for. Because I would not let myself do that. But So I was like kind of getting stuff to maybe like stuff I might need. Um, so I got this little like planner. so easy to budget like it is so fucking easy because like this month is a free-for-all because I'm just trying to get a grasp of what I normally 
we spend and then we start budgeting next month so like I'm just like writing down everything that I pay for every all my expenses like and all that and it's really interesting to look at like what we spend our money on what we don't spend our money on stuff like that now this month is a more expensive month versus normal months because I got my nose pierced and I'm going to Dollar Tree and stuff spending money on stuff I don't necessarily need but I'm obviously gonna make myself like a fun budget because I'm not gonna um, you know not do that but anyway so this I was gonna use this for budgeting really and maybe like um school assignments if I want to normally I don't do that but I might Now, they had a four pack of the smaller highlighters, but I don't like the small highlighters. I like the chunky ones. Um, so I got the two packs of chunkies. So I got a um, pink and a purple one. And they have the chisel uh, tip, which is the ones I prefer. And I feel like Zebra is like a, yeah, it's a well known brand. So. It's not like these are Sharpie highlighters, but like it's still a good brand. I also did my nails the other day. They're supposed to be like thermal heat maps. I don't know if you can tell. They're very glossy, so I don't know how well you can see them. But it took me forever because like the amount of layers you have to do. But I feel like I'm getting better with the nail art. So I got those, and then I also got these. any blue highlighters which I like blue ones so it's kind of spoiled but I don't necessarily need it right now I didn't know what she got but it's fine so I got these two just because I like the chunky ones better and like it would have been cheaper to get the four pack that were smaller but I just like it's my preference you know what I mean now I was surprised to see these um Elmer's glue sticks now I've seen like Elmer's like squeeze glue there before but like that stuff normally sells out really quick so I grabbed these because I need glue sticks for my art because normally I will tape stuff but like because I always forget to buy glue we thought it, like, I think that um, one of them was like named Dusty something and the other one was like named Glenn and Glenn was the one who was gay but they were talking about Dusty who was claiming it on the show because like he was part of it but and I was like oh I wonder why they didn't include the other guy so we looked it up and he died um, pretty he died like not too long after he ended up retiring because he had like AIDS which is so sad literally when I find out like older people like older queer people like die of AIDS like it literally breaks my heart like I think that shit is so sad because you gotta think about also in that time like it was such a stigma like it still is for sure I'm not saying it's not but like it was even more of like people like wouldn't even like go near people you know what I mean like it's so sad up my 
blinds in my room and I saw the clear ones so I'm probably gonna replace them. And also not all the blinds are getting held by hooks. Some of them just have like regular command strips but somebody, not mentioning any names, has been pulling them down. Um, so I think the hooks are just the way to go. And also like the command strips, they eventually just stop like sticking. So I'm gonna use that for this. And then also, I'm gonna see if like, yeah, I think a regular like charging cord will fit. Cause I think I'm gonna start like, like putting my cords up against the wall just to make that easier for me. So yeah, these. Which I feel like is always such a good like find. Cause this command strips are so fucking expensive. And like for what? Like everybody needs them. All right, what I actually went for. And this was the only one in there. So I'm glad that I went when I did. I'm just gonna use this to dye my eyebrows and my mustache. I know what you're thinking, Max, you're blonde. Like, you're dirty blonde. Like, why do you want black? Um, my eyebrows, it doesn't normally take it being black. It'll just dye it, like, darker. And same with my mustache, like, which is so crazy because, like, obviously, and I feel like there's a shower of it sometimes, but, like, I shaved it not too long ago. It is so long right now, but because I am so blonde, like, you can see, like, my beard hair. I haven't shaved my beard in a minute and I need to because I hate, I just hate the feeling of it growing out. But I, my skin always gets so irritated when I shave because like, look, I haven't shaved in a bit. And my zits and all that is going away. So I don't know. I, I should, I feel like I should shave, but I don't want to because it's, maybe I just need to get an electric razor. Maybe that's my issue. But I don't know. You can let me know. Maybe I'm doing something wrong because my boyfriend, he doesn't shave his beard at all because he like, he break out, but like his hair will grow really, really weird, I guess, um, because he's like textured curly hair. So, um, he just doesn't shave it like at all. Like he'll like every once in a while trim it, but he doesn't really shave it. Um, and I, I just learned how to shave by myself. Nobody ever taught me. So maybe I'm just doing something wrong. I don't know. stuff it would be it would have been the time they have sales on literally everything like clothing um food household stuff like so we went and we got a bunch of new cleaning supplies and if you spent 50 bucks on that you get like a 15 dollars gift card so we got that and then they had a ton of coupons for that stuff so you're gonna get more for that 50 bucks anyways ton of food too because stuff was on sale um i'm actually really excited we got we picked up these i'm probably gonna eat them today maybe i don't know i'm eating my tea shot today um so my mom's gonna come over and give it to me my boyfriend gave it to me last week 
Um, but if my mom's free, I'm just, I, I just ask her to do it. And also, I just like seeing my mom. Like, um, so she's gonna come over later today, and I don't know if she's gonna want to go out to eat. So I'm trying not to like really eat other than my coffee. I'm trying to lose some weight. Um, I've been like staying pretty stable with my weight right now. Um, but so far I haven't really lost any weight. So that's kind of disappointing, but I'm just trying to like take it easy with myself. Like I'm like very self-conscious recently, like very self-conscious. Like, so I've been like avoiding like mirrors and like you guys really only see my face. And I feel like my face like makes me look a lot smaller than I am. You know what I mean? Cause like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Like I just, am, I'm a big person. Really I am. Um, but anyway, so I'm hoping my tea shots will help that as well as, I don't know if I told you guys, but I'm on Wellbutrin instead of Lexapro now or Prozac. Was I on Prozac or Lexapro? Is that the same thing? I don't know. Whatever. Um, whatever that is, like whatever doesn't matter like both of those like will make you gain weight with your own them so and also another thing I, I was excited about not having is like um and I'm sorry if this is so TMI but like um if you don't know like Lexapro like kills your sex drive and it doesn't just like make you not horny it's just like you literally cannot get it like so like if you um are a guy like you cannot get hard or anything like that you know, same effects vice versa and so like like it's weird because like I do want to have sex like and I do like I'm like mentally I'm like I'm in the mood and I want to but like physically like my body is like what the fuck do you think you're doing like it's so that's been like kind of sucky because obviously I don't know if you've had sex before you know like using lube and stuff like that it's not the same as like being naturally just horny um so she's going to tell on the slide right now but so I think already that's been help, like working a lot better, so that's been nice. I got some ibuprofen. We don't have any ibuprofen in the house at all. We only have naproxen, which is similar to ibuprofen. It's a pain reliever, but if you don't know, naproxen is like one of the only active like pain relievers that will help with like period, like menstrual cramps. Excuse me, and um, it's like the active ingredient. Naproxen sodium is the active ingredient in a leaf, so it's cheaper than getting a leaf. Um, but you're supposed to have like ibuprofen when like you're having like sore stuff like this and like swollen, I guess. I don't know, that's what my mom told me. So we didn't have any, so I went and got this for my nose. It hasn't really been hurting, but like I keep fucking catching it on shit. Or like the other day, first of all, before I even say the story. I'm not a liar, okay? I'm so fucking real. I pick my nose. And before you're like, I pick my nose and then I put it on a fucking tissue. I'm not, because you're not telling me you wrap a tissue on your finger and that's a waste. Your fingernail's gonna break it anyway. I wash my hands afterward. End of story. <laughs> and because, and also like, sometimes there's like shit in your nose. Like, you're not gonna blow that out. Like, be so real. Because like, like, I feel like everybody does and they just like don't want to admit it. Like, oh, I pick my nose. But I'm not, like, throwing it or wiping around. Like, I'm not disgusting. Because <laughs> that's, like, the main difference between, in my opinion. But anyway, um, I keep feeling it. The bar, like, touch the opposite side of my nose. And I think that it's, like, a sharp booger. Because, like, you know, you get those. I don't know if you guys get those, but I do. Like, it'll be really sharp and hard. And so I'm like, fuck, I need to go get this. So, like, I'll literally get everything ready. And I'm about to, like, get up in there. I'm like, oh, it's my nose piercing. <laughs> Which, I don't know if that means I need to get the bar shortened or not, but they said, like, I sh I need to wait, like, a few months for that to swallow and to go down, but I feel like, oh, you know what, now I back up, I d it does look swollen. Maybe I should shut the fuck up. Anyway, I don't know, the bar's been kind of bothering me a little bit, but it doesn't really look as irritated, it's a little red, but again, it's probably because I keep fucking messing with it and I shouldn't. It's just, it's so hard because, like, when you realize and you're, like, and since it's, like, a star, too, I like swirling it. But I shouldn't do that, so I'm trying not to. But I think these are, these are liquid gels. So I got these to put it in our cabinet. Because also, 
um, we've had people come over and they do not want to take the naproxen. But I'm like, in my opinion, it works. It works better than ibuprofen or like um, Tylenol. Because some people are like, oh, do you have Tylenol? I'm like, no. Because Tylenol is fucking expensive and it, it just doesn't work as good, like, in my opinion. I want to feel like I have more stuff in my medicine cabinet for people. There's 10 in here. It probably costs more to make this packaging and, and put it all together than these 10 motherfucking gels. It's whatever though. That's kind of funny. like new medicines so they had like name brand um oh my god this is like already 20 minutes long that's crazy they had like name brand like gummies like you know what i mean like um like supplement like vitamin gummies and stuff okay so i love these stickers i got them last year or last year or two years ago, I can't remember. And I've been waiting for them to get them back and they haven't. Finally saw them today, so I don't know if these are leftover, like, dead stock. I'm trying to see if they had, like, a D on there, but it doesn't look like it. So I got two of them because, I don't know. I put these on my sketchbook and they're looking a little rough, so I think I'm gonna put some of them, like, to replace them. And then I'll just have these because they're so cute. And then I also got these. They're like fall ones. Just like, I like this fall one. And I like this one too. So I got those. Um, I was trying to find like small stickers to put in the planner to like signify like certain things, but. Every time I'm in the store, I always get something sweet, like a little sweet treat, and I've never seen these in my life. Cork peppermint patties, like minis. I don't know about y'all, but like, I didn't grow up with like a lot of sweets in the house or anything like that, which I think is why I splurge a lot on sweets as an adult, because I just didn't get to do that as a kid. Um, but when we would like go out to eat, cause like we, we didn't go out a lot, um, my grandparents would take my mom and dad and us out, um, like after church or sometimes, so it's just like in general, like on the weekends, um, to Bob Evans. And I don't know if you guys have Bob Evans near you or have ever been, but they have like a big ass thing of York peppermint patties normally, about like 25 cents or something like that. And so we'd always get to get like either a peppermint patty or like a buckeye, um, which I don't know if they're big in like any other areas other than Ohio because like our state whatever the fuck is a buckeye so we make like chocolate looking buckeyes it's just like a scoop of like it's basically peanut butter and sugar mixed together in the middle and then it's frozen and then you dip it in chocolate I feel like I've seen them around in other places but then again I'm not sure which I've been craving like crazy by the way I've been craving like weird ass shit recently I don't know what it's up um I've been creaming a lot of sweets, like a ton, and I don't know why. So I saw these and I like remembered that and I was like, oh, I should get them. So I got them. And for the whole container, it's under 300 uh, calories. Not that you need to count calories, but I didn't think that was bad, so I got it. The last thing I got was something that I've been looking for. And I could not find like at other stores and then they, this is like a newer thing that they had ours. It's like a little cat teaser toy. Super cute. Got like a feather as like a bell, which I'll probably take off because I don't like that. Because that's annoying as fuck. And it's got like ribbons and stuff too, so I like that a lot. But I've been looking for that forever. I, I just like couldn't find it anywhere and I, I even went to pet stores and I just didn't have them so I don't know maybe they're 
here just hold out. I don't know. I don't know if you just saw me spit. I'm so sorry. That's some balls. And then here's the last thing I got. Which I'm mad as fuck, you guys. So apparently, I need to throw out majority of my skincare collection. Because after you open a lot of serums and stuff, you need to refrigerate them. Does that say that in any of these packages? I don't think so. It doesn't say out here. But a lot of people were saying, like, it basically, like, the ingredients become unstable because they need to be refrigerated after opening because it's, like, sealed perfectly. So, this is vitamin C. Plus, I don't know what the fuck that means, but it has vitamin C in it, and I've been wanting some vitamin C for my skin. exactly and then the tax it was twenty one eighty five. but um yeah I just like I don't fucking know like I'm pissed and like I haven't thrown it out yet I've been still using this stuff even though I know it's probably like useless now cause I'm mad like my skincare like a lot of the stuff is very expensive stuff and I literally like I think I was scrolling on TikTok next to my boyfriend when I found that out it's like devastated and he was like well why don't you get like a mini fridge for him and I was like mini fridges are fucking expensive especially the ones that like are marketed for skincare because that's the one I would obviously want to get because if you just got like a regular one like I'd have to take all this stuff out and some of them you can't remove like the you know what I mean like the what am I trying to say like the um, oh my god you know what I mean like shelves on there to like hold pop or something because that's what most of them are for so I don't know I'm looking for cheap ones I think that was the thing on Amazon I was gonna look for because I don't I'm not gonna open this till I get one because I mean I could put it in my fridge but I feel like my fridge is too cold for serums because literally like it's like almost freezing in my fridge but that's what I like so so I don't know if that would be good for your own I saw this and I was like, oh, I should get it. So I did. But yeah, because like, I think I started a Sephora or an Ulta cart, like, of all the stuff I need to replace, and it was like already over $100. I was like, what the fuck? I don't think I was even done. So I was like, I'm just going to kill myself instead because. <laughs> and he was, he was telling me, like, oh, you should see how expensive it was. Because I think, I think he was going to offer to get me new stuff, which is super sweet. But he does not need to do because I that's my own damn fault for not researching that. But I am pissed about it, not gonna lie. Um and our anniversary is coming up, so maybe that's what he'll do for me. That'd be sweet. Um our anniversary is coming up and I'm like I haven't we haven't decided if we're gonna celebrate it and I don't think we're gonna celebrate August. I think we're gonna do September. Um so we did we did meet in August, but it was like the very end of the month. And then I got my surgery, so, and it's like almost one year of my surgery, so that's crazy. Um, yeah, it's just fucking insane. So, I don't know, we have, we literally never, like, decided on a date either. Like, isn't that fucking crazy? So, um, we'll have to figure that out. And then, because I, I, we just have, like, we both acknowledge it's coming up, but we haven't, like, said what date. And then... We both said we want to go out and do something, but then we haven't agreed what we want to do. But we have time. It's just, I kind of want to figure it out. I don't know, I'm that type of person. And then, especially so I can, like, start saving for it. Because I already know I'm going to drop at least 100 bucks on his present. So, at least. But I don't even know. But yeah, that's my haul. Um, I might go to Find Him Below later. I need to go get pillowcases um, because his pillowcasing was like pilling. Do you know what that, you know what I'm trying to say? And it was literally tearing at my fucking like it was getting wrapped around my piercing. And I was so he, he took his pillowcase off and then I like our pillowcases like have gone missing. So I think like they got like absorbed into the fucking dryer or something when I was washing our bedding because like most of our pillows are missing them and that's fucking I hate sleeping on pillows without pillowcases but like hey baby um so 
and you're just gonna go, do not, do not chew on it. Um, I was gonna go look for like at least one silk pillowcase for him because he wants one for his hair, which makes sense. And then, but I know they're gonna be expensive, so I was just gonna do one for him and then get regular pillowcases, even though I feel like I could benefit like skin wise for that, but it's not that serious. So I'm gonna have to go, I was gonna check five and below to see what they had for your pillowcases. Um, Cause ours is like an expanded five and below. And then if not Target and TJ Maxx is like right next to it, it's like one strip. So I was like, if they don't have it, then I can just walk over. Um, but since I'm home, I was gonna do that while I was out, but I just got tired of being outside. So, um, got tired of being out. So I was just like, okay, I wanna go home and sit down for a bit. I'm gonna go, if I do go to Fine Blow and I get anything, or vice versa, that's like other than the pillowcases, which probably will happen because that's what happens when you go into Fine and Blow. You don't just walk out with one thing. Um, I'll probably add on to this video, but if not, um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you have any video suggestions or like wants, just let me know. I also do custom videos, so if you guys are interested in that, also let me know. Um, you can email me or you can DM me on Instagram. I will answer both ways. Um, I also added like a link that's like buy me a coffee or whatever. So you can just like donate basically. And like I will literally either spend it on coffee because I love coffee obviously. Or like it'll go towards the channel in some way, shape or form. But yeah, uh, I love you guys. I hope you sleep super, super.